Five, four, three, two, one. G'day all. We're going to have a little look today at uh, updating the JMRI version that you have in your Raspberry Pi. To do that, we're going to need to connect to the internet. And the easiest way to connect to the internet with the Raspberry Pi is to just press or connect a Cat5 cable uh, from the Raspberry Pi to your home network. And then it should come straight on to the uh, connect straight to the internet. You shouldn't have to change anything. So once you've got uh, connected to the internet, you'll have, uh, if I maximise that screen there, you'll have the uh, Raspberry Pi desktop. So what we've got here, we've got JMRI, uh, JMRI on this version here, and it's running version 4.14. So it's fairly old, so we'll need to update this one. I think the latest version is 4.18, so we'll do that now. So all we do is hit the quit button and uh, shut down this version of JMRI. With this upgrade, you sh it should keep intact all your panel files and all your roster files, so you shouldn't have to update those. You may have to re-index the roster in JMRI, uh, but that's usually has to be done every time you uh, either set up a new version or do an update. So we start up the uh, web browser, which is located up the top here, this blue circle. And we should have this uh, Chromium web browser up, which is Chrome for Raspberry Pi. And basically just type in there JMRI downloads, as you see, I've done it before. So select that. And it'll take us to a Google link to the uh, JMRI download page. So we click that again, and we should be at a, the JMRI website, which everybody should be familiar with. And we're on the downloads page. So if we scroll down, we've got the latest production release, and it's 4.18. So what we want is the Linux version down the bottom here. So if we click on that link, You'll see down the uh, the bottom of uh, our uh, browser here, it's telling us that we're downloading JMRI 4.18 blah 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 dot TGZ, which is the uh, file extension for the uh, for the Linux version. So we'll let this uh, download, and once it's downloaded, we'll show you how to install it. Doesn't take too long. As you can see, we're, uh, we're over halfway at the moment. It doesn't give you a progress meter, but it tells you how much of the total download there is and how many seconds are left, but the seconds seem to jump around a fair bit. Here we go. 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1, and we're downloaded. So the file is downloaded. Now if we click on this box, the arrow on the end here, it should say show in folder. So now we'll go and open up the folder where that's located. What we can do now is close the browser because we're finished with the, uh, with the interweb. We've downloaded our new version of JMRI and we've got the file here. So all we do now is go right click on that Extract to, and it should bring up a window from the extractor. And what we want to do is change the location where it's going to. So all we have to do is real easy, just delete the downloads part from that address. Okay, so all you should have is forward slash home, forward slash pi, forward slash. Then go override existing files and hit extract. And now the X archiver, which is the zip file and the archiver program within, J within Raspberry Pi or the Raspberry and operating system, will start to uh, unpack everything and, uh, and throw all that in there. So we'll just give that a few seconds to do its thing. 
Watched a lovely blue line go backwards and forwards like the front of Kit, the Knight Rider car. And eventually it'll tell us that it's all done. So off it goes. And it's, well, it's finished. Doesn't tell us it's done. It just finishes like that. So if we close that window now and go back over to Panel Pro and double click our Panel Pro or our Decoder Pro link, whichever one, and we'll see what starts up. Waiting for it to start. It's the Y throttle started. And there we go. We now have JMRI version 4.18 installed and all our rosters should be the same now I don't know if I've actually got anything there's nothing in this roster because this was an empty version of JMRI I did but I've uh, done it on another machine and it actually did keep my roster and kept my panel files as well so nice quick little uh, video on how to update your JMRI in your Raspberry Pi I think a couple of people were waiting for this to come out anyhow Till the next time, I'll catch you later.